Yo, what's going on guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back into the video day. And today in a surprising move, the Los Angeles Dodgers have DFA'd James Paxton. James Paxton, who has had a weak ERA this year, but I will say, even though it is a weak ERA at 4.43, this is the best ERA he has had since the 2019 season. But in 18 games with 18 starts, and I know this is a, probably has a lot to do with the great Dodgers lineup, but James Paxton uh, which it's it's not all about the the lineup and the hitters you have in the lineup. Yes, I mean it, it definitely helps you, but still has had an eight and two record this year, which is an eighty winning percentage, eighty percent winning percentage this year for the Dodgers. The like I said, yes, the ERA is weak at four point four three, but it's it's a lot better than what we've seen from him before. Last year was almost 4.6. 2021 was 6.75. 2020 was 6.64. And then 2019 was 3.82. So this is the best day ERA we've seen from him since 2000. Sorry, since 2019. And he's he's been solid in his 18 starts. So in 18 starts, um, he is eight and two. He is pitching almost 90 innings, giving up 82 hits, 45 runs, 44, 44 earned runs, 11 home runs. And, and this has been a big problem for him. And big, big problem is the walks. He's given up 48 walks this year. Before, before this season, the highest amount of walks he ever has given up uh, was 55. And that was that 2019 season where uh, he started in 29 games with a 3.82 ERA with the Yankees. So he, the most walks he's ever given up in a season was 55 with the, with the Yankees in 2019. And obviously, you know, he does that in 2019 with the Yankees. He, he played 29 games in 2019. So he's only seven, seven, away, seven walks away from tying his career high. Uh, and I wouldn't. I would think it take with the way he's been giving up walks. I would think it's going to take a, maybe half, if not less than half, of eleven games to get to fifty five walks. So that's been a big problem for him this season. He also has sixty four strikeouts, which, uh, yeah, the strikeouts have been another thing. I mean, his strikeouts have gone down. Sixty four strikeouts this year in eighteen starts. In 2023 with the Red Sox, um, he managed in 19 starts. Uh, he had 101 strikeouts. So I know it's one. There's one start of difference um, with 19 starts in 2023, 18 this year. But I don't think he's gonna get 37 strikeouts in his next start. So uh, that has been a big drop down for him. But I will. I will say I'm not. This this doesn't again. This doesn't really do anything. But also the innings have gone down. Ninety six innings pitched in two thousand twenty three, and two thousand twenty four eighty eighty nine. But at the same time, he's not going to get thirty seven strikeouts in uh, in seven innings of work. So the strikeouts have gone down. The walks have gone up. But great record. And yes, the ERA is bad. But you know it's the best it's been since two thousand nineteen. And he's done a solid job. Now, the reason why they are making this move is is most likely because Tyler Glass now and Clayton Kershaw are both coming back soon. So that yeah, that plays a role into it. Now, here is what I was wondering. Why not try to trade him? Look, the Dodgers have guys that they want to go get. And I know that I just feel like maybe there is some team that would have potentially take, taken James Paxton. It, you're only getting him for the rest of the year. This is someone that they just signed to a one-year, eleven million dollar deal. So I guess the money I, that could be a reason why teams wouldn't be interested in James Paxton. I'm not saying the Dodgers didn't, you know, see if he had a market. Uh, but if I had to guess, I would say maybe the possible reason is because a lot of teams didn't want to take on a guy who had a eleven million dollar contract, even though it, it it's only a contract they have to take on. Uh, for the rest of the season, um, and he's not a amazing pitcher. He's only a solid pitcher. Uh, now, if this was a guy who was doing a little bit better, I think a lot of teams would would potentially be interested in taking on that eleven million dollar contract. But no, no, it's a little it's a, for a four eleven million dollars for a four point four three ERA uh, and 
you know, given up the worst amount of walks in your career and a significant drop in strikeouts, $11 million is not worth it. It is not. But I think, you know, I think some teams definitely could use a guy like James Paxton. Um, yes, is he for for Heasley, yes, is he the fourth starter, fourth or fifth starter for the Dodgers, but I think uh, there are other teams that, you know, he could be if you if you look at their pitchers, he could be like the 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 third uh or the fourth best, you know, starting pitcher for that team. Maybe there are some teams you could say he could be the second. I mean uh, 4.43 ERA isn't great, but it isn't terrible. Let me know your thoughts on the Dodgers DFAing James Paxton in the comment section. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed and peace out.